Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review an additional use for the super trend indicator. As we saw on previous videos, the super trend paint these trend lines and these arrow signals when we have a trend change and we can we can modify the multiplier to get a more tight or more loose condition so we we can have more signals or less signals depending on the size of the multiplier let's say that we have a big multiplier with only two signals so how can we use it as filter not only to generate signals but also to define the trend and filter other signals let's say that we only want to take long signals on this uptrend where this configuration of super trend is uh, to the upside and taking short signals when super train is on short mode now we can use another configuration on super train and only taking long signals and avoid these shorts because the other configuration of super train is on long mode same here we take only the short signals because the higher configuration super trend is on short mode. This is very useful because it is as if we are filtering signals with a higher time frame. But instead of using a higher time frame, we are using a higher settings for the indicator. If we want to automate this configuration with the new version of the indicator, we can specify on the operation mode parameter with a number one we only get a plus one or minus one depending on the trend direction this is not useful for charts the only purpose for this is to be used in another system for example, on a marker filter. Let's go back to zero. And now we use a marker tool. We start by copying the super trend value with the high configuration with a multiplier of 3 so we set the operation mode number 1 and copy the entry line which contains the trend direction with plus 1 or minus 1 we were using a multiplier of 3 and let's assign a name to this variable like my trend and now at the bottom we can see the trend direction the sign as we saw before remember that this came from the super trend with a multiplier of 3 when it is going down the result is minus 1 when it is going up the result is plus 1 So this can be used on a marker filter if we want to automate this setup taking all these signals then we can use markers to trade arrow ups in color blue to go long and go short in arrow downs in color red this will take all the signals 
going short, going long, short, long. And now, if we want to filter using this variable, which we name it my trend, then on marker plus we enable the filter and set the variable for long my trend must have a minimum of positive one this is the filter to go long and the filter to go short the same variable with a maximum value of negative one Now we can see at the top right corner the, the current status for the filter. We are on long enable mode. The next signal will be a short when it, it breaks to the downside, but it is going to be filtered because the filter is on long mode only. But then it will enter long on the following break to the upside. We can see some examples on this video on crude oil we can see that this short was ignored because Target the super filled. trend on the lower pane is on long mode another short signal it was ignored now the super trend changes to short mode we can see at the bottom the long signal was ignored and now Target the short killed. signal was taken and this long was ignored we can use this logic this filter logic not only with the super trend but with any other signal for example Let's say we are trading reversal signals. Instead of trading all the signals, we can use the same filter, only taking this uh, the long signal because we are on an uptrend. So this is the only the only signal. And to the downside, we are still waiting for a short signal. Now we are on long mode, so we will be waiting for a long signal so this is a way to use the super trend as a filter hope this idea and solution for new setups has been useful for you and if you have any question please post below this video thank you bye bye